So anyway, I just celebrated a birthday. I uh, just uh, celebrated. Thank you. Thank you, uh, all three of you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Starting to get a little older. Not old, but a little older. I'm, I'm realizing I'm getting at that age where, like, if you call me after 9 o'clock, I don't really like you no more. <laughs> I don't. I don't. And I know this is directly related to age, right? Because when I was younger, I couldn't wait for people to call me after 9 o'clock. Because um, that's when my cell minutes was free. <laughs> Anybody else had sprint nights and weekends? <laughs> Who remembers when texting was hard? You remember you had to go through three letters on the same button? J, K. <sighs> I'm just going to call them back. This is... This is ridiculous, I don't need to text nobody this bad. I don't, I don't, I don't. I'm realizing that the music that I grew up listening to and love is now the background easy listening music <laughs> at restaurants and events. Like I heard Biggie's 10 Crack Commandments in the bank lobby the other day. <laughs> it's like, am I high on my own supply? What is? <laughs> I gotta stop doing business at Dollar Bank. This is crazy. <laughs> Have y'all seen the new bank, Dollar Bank? I'm trying to figure out what's the slogan for Dollar Bank. Hey, uh, let me hold something. Right <laughs> I need you to have more than a dollar on hand if I'm doing my banking with you. Yeah, starting to get a little older. And I, I got it, honestly, my concerns, I got a hard time with it. Because uh, my dad had a hard time with it, and he was a ladies' man. Uh, matter of fact, when I was growing up, uh, if he saw a beautiful woman, being a dad would make him look old in front of that beautiful woman. He would introduce me as his little cousin. <laughs> That's my truth, man. What y'all laughing at? <laughs> He'd be like, how you doing, miss? Uh, my name is Lanell, and... That's my little cousin, Lionel Jr. <laughs> but y'all look just alike. Don't be racist, man. Don't. Don't be racist. I stole Parker's white privilege. Don't be racist. Don't be racist. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a parent. I uh, got some kids, man. And uh, no claps for that. Okay, I see how y'all <laughs> See how y'all feel about the children, okay. <laughs> that's cold, man. Uh, I mean, cold. That's cold is what that is. Um, <laughs> I feel like, honestly, I feel like children are a blessing. I do. And I feel like, personally, my children uh, were a miracle. Um, because my wife was on the pill. And... Um, <laughs> Just to be safe, I was on the pill too. <laughs> I started feeling out real nice. I got childbearing hips, you know what I'm saying? None of my friends can make eye contact with me anymore, you know. Huh? What was up, cuz? Huh? Huh? My eyes are up here. My eyes <laughs> up here. I was taking lady centrums, so I was doing whatever I needed to do. A miracle though. Love it. You know, I like to talk about kids, man. I like to talk about things that's, you know, a little different. Most comedians you'll hear, they'll talk about sex, talk about weed, talk about things like that. I don't really talk about sex as much and stuff like that. And it's not because, like, I don't have sex, but uh, sex give me Charlie horses, like, right? <laughs> Nobody know what I'm talking about? Right up in here. I don't think Charlie wants us up funny, so I don't talk about him on stage. I don't do that. I guess all y'all taking fish oil. <laughs> y'all eating bananas to get your potassium right. That's what's up. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> I, I, my weed experience is limited. I don't have a lot of weed experience, just one. Weird experience. I had a friend of mine who wanted to invest in weed. Like, he was thinking about investing in a stock. But he was like, before he could pull the trigger and invest in weed, 
He wanted to pray and ask God if it was the right thing to do. He wanted to pray about weed. How many of y'all smoke weed in? Anybody smoke weed? How many of y'all say grace before you smoke weed? Anybody? <laughs> Anybody thinking Christ for they cocaine? Anybody? <laughs> Something don't feel right about that to me. Seems a little off. I'm gonna get off that. Back to the kids. Okay, I see that. People were scared to say they smoke weed too. Everybody's like, Whoa. <laughs> you a knock? Like everybody got suspicions. <laughs> oh man. Um, yeah, I got I got two kids, and uh, what I've learned uh, from having kids. Um, I don't like kids. Uh, <laughs> no, nah, I'm just playing. I love my kids. Uh, I love my kids. Um, my wife has been sick recently, so like she stays home with them, and I had to stay home with them this week. And I'm gonna tell you, it's harder than going to work. It is. That's why. Thank you. Okay. That's why I decided that I'm going to be a stay-at-work dad. Like, uh, <laughs> The learning curve is too high for the stay at home. It's too high. <laughs> I've learned like that babies got a dark sense of humor. Babies got a real sick sense of humor. Because my son's favorite thing to do at one is to sit at the dinner table and pretend like he's choking. <laughs> it's a real thing. We'll feed him, he'll be like, <coughs> <coughs> I run over to him, he like, ah, 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 got you! I'm like, hold on. Did he get that from your side of the family? I didn't teach him that. Six sense of humor, man. And my daughter, she's starting to get older, so she doesn't listen as well as she used to. You know, like, how, how many people here think you should discipline your kids? Who thinks you should discipline your kids? I expected a lot of clap, because none of y'all clap for kids. <laughs> Not that all y'all would have been for discipline. Okay. Who says timeout? Anybody thinks timeout? Or... Okay, all right, all right, okay. I'm not here to tell you what to do with your kids. Um, but I'll say this. If you do have kids and you decide to beat them, <laughs> and you beat them past like 10, 12 years old, you just really enjoy hitting kids. Um, <laughs> you can't beat your kids after they start using deodorant. <laughs> Y'all just fighting. That's, that's a misdemeanor. That's not discipline. You can't show up at Dave and Buster's, bust a kid. <laughs> oh, you do three to five for that. You got to do that in private, man. Don't beat kids. Daughter, man. I'm realizing now that I'm the best version of a dad that I ever been. And it's not because of anything that I taught my kids, but it's because I finally decided to try and do my daughter's hair. A couple of alls, and some people don't know what to do. Okay. I'll tell you what, this is how we'll sum this up. If there are any dads in here, and you have daughters, and you never tried to do their hair, I'm better than you. That's, <laughs> that's the better person. Not because I'm good at it. Uh, I suck, actually. Um, but it gives me, I find it gives me a new way to connect with my daughter in ways I had never known before. You know? Because every time I do her hair, I look into her beautiful eyes and I say, baby girl, real beauty's on the inside. Uh, <laughs> No, no, don't, don't, don't look in the mirror. Don't look in the mirror. Don't look in the mirror. Matter of fact, while I got your hand, let's pray that all the bullies stayed home from school today. Because I want you to go outside with your head high and this hat on. Daddy loves you. All right, my name is Lionel. Let's get your host back up here. Bro.